Here, you're going to fall too far behind the This Aster lineup is ahead in the mid game. I very, very much big though. The creative then, the set of door casters for this game number one. For Chrysalis, we'll see how involved Chrysalis does get it as the Monkey King this game. Hey. Are they on? They will be able to take down Ori there. The three of them just collapse in upon him, and then no backup, no response, and not a chance really. The three of them killing him instantly. So much disable he's going to watch out for this game. As we were mentioning, everybody Radiant's on the side of Secret has something to catch him. Attack. Yeah, I was looking. Of course, we see that three points in Lunar Blessing, five minutes at hit. So, nighttime, everybody, all the heroes on the side of Aster do have that little bit of bonus damage now, that plus 20. Yeah, kind of cool change. Lots of stacks, yes, I took the Boca. Sabine got some sort of setup. Success is here, so peace is hard. We're in the mid again. Both teams now having backup. Set up with the Fisher for Ori. He's got PQ by his side this time. His coil and his shield will keep Ori topped up and safe. Much harder, if not impossible, for these two heroes to make a move on the Storm Spirit once the, the abandons in position. Constant harassment, all these slights. For Nisha, he knows he has so much more freedom. He can. He does not really at risk of dying too much in this game. It's really limited disables coming out from the side of Aster until later on when team fights start kicking off with like black holes and whatnot. He can push the limit of this hero. Absolutely, yeah. So the only way that to find anything. And now oh, they got the chains into the fissure. Should be okay. Don't quite have enough damage to burst him through that control. And but look, he was there at the side. Nisha knows how much he can push his limits. You see that just like high fiving, walking into the Radiance Middle Tower. Is under okay. Under the set. That's it. Over the side of the straight into the vortex. Oh, but he's got the slide. He's alive. Right. He's able to jump away. Or he looked to get the side. The echo is the fissure. Locks down Ori. Nisha's gonna live. You gotta be kidding me. And now with the flame break thrown in, Baboka's getting low. Rezo's gonna look to chase them up to the tier two. They're able to take down Baboka as well. I mean, how did he how live that? The stick, the slight, every little thing coming into play there for Nisha. Oh my and god. And as you said, if the game would. They're just, I mean, they're getting so much base, really. Like I mean, we mentioned, like, the Aster, this was Aster's time to shine, really, because of the way they drafted to be able to pressure lanes and stuff. It's a secret running. Oh, he's down in Anisha. He's confidently farming right in their face. He has got a remnant prepared for a quick escape. He wants I to try to push for PQ. He knows that the borrowed time's on cooldown. <laughs> a Botic shield. Looking a fair bit of the damage from the slice, but another round of energy. He's going to be in trouble. He's the end success, though. Look, look, look down the end with the black hole. There's nothing to stop him. Anisha may be getting a little too cheeky there under the tier two. Science also to fall. I mean, he was he was definitely pushing his limits there. I mean, he obviously didn't have that black hole cast yet this game. They knew it was going to be there. They're almost certainly going to lose Puppy as well. No way. Maybe getting a little, a little too ahead too much. of themselves there, there Secret. Beautiful by XXS too. It's it's the identification he sees the Fissure used, and the second he sees Zion thrown out, I mean out, that has to be right. Black that's the hole. only yeah. way. That's the only reason why he's just going to be playing like this. He thinks the Fissure's going to yep. be there to cover him from a black hole, but indeed XXS. Yep. He knows once that fish is used, it's a free black hole yeah, for him to just ass. drop down, guarantee the kill on the Ember. Kill. Okay. Aster just continues to do a great job of keeping these lanes shoved. Mid lane is shoved out by Secret, but Radiant's top lane constantly pushed by the Luna, who has the abandoned next to him. And bottom, I'm just seeing Aster set, setting Eidolons constantly. See, they already. He's going to find the center for Nisha. DP's into the tree, Vortex into the black hole. Nisha doesn't stand a chance. Again, getting close to these tier twos is not proving to be a healthy move at all for Nisha. He didn't have Zayas close enough at all. XXS, no hesitation really there. When he knows what the Earth Shaker is. Absolutely not. You know, you, you sort of see an Ember Spirit sitting like that as close as he was to the tier two. You're dropping that black hole every time. XXS knows it. It secures the, the, the kill. I think they're thinking about maybe pulling into the Roche because they do kill it very fast. But Mone having the, the farm that he does. Well, it's well, scanned well, it's out, good. so Secret know they're playing around this area. They want to kill first. I mean, there's no no well, niche for 10 not. seconds. He's already, he's already in with the setup. <laughs> Get the opening. The fear. It's only going to catch a couple of them. Won't catch Ori, so Ori can continue to finish the kill with the help of Mone. Secures him another power but no Hastur will spawn top, so Ori will continue to be able to put on this aggression on the map with mana. Nisha gonna TP mid, but Nisha now has to be a bit careful. He has BKB, so we'll protect him versus everything now that Aster has, but has to still be careful of this like toss back into Vortex play that we saw Aster do a couple times. And you're absolutely right. If, if Secret lose another fight, they will be losing Roshan. Yep. The power of Aster, they can take it down very, very quickly. And they don't want to just run into it right now, though. Black Hole being on cooldown, it's a bit of a red, these callbacks. Just go for Rezo here. Shows himself in the mid lane. Ori for both of those. Straight for him. Rezo goes down again. Damn. Yeah, I think I mean, Aster it really just keeps on being the same thing. They're one step ahead of Secret, getting these constant picks. And now you can move into now the they pit. Can go. Yep. And 
chances of Secret being able to interrupt this. It, I mean, they could try, but it's going to be so risky. I don't think you can, honestly. I think it's kind of a death trap. You know that they try a vision. I mean, they might be losing here, but Boca jumps up to the high ground, catches Puppy. <laughs> Secret's completely lost control of this. They really have. Ever since that dive on the tier two down bottom, they've lost their flow, and Asta just in full control, hitting the timings that they need to be. Monet, absolutely massive. This Roshan, it will be theirs. Of course, with the Aegis in their hands, you can definitely expect to see Ash to start steamrolling down some of these lanes, taking the tier twos, and maybe even pushing it up towards the yep. immediately black hole. Yep. Mid, yep. sees an opportunity, it's immediately black hole. Oh, instantly two. We'll see back in action. They're the setup. We'll see again. A picture of fantastic perfect. black hole there from XXS. He's been playing it cool this game. And Secret just completely shaken up. They, they, you know, they had that opening and looked like they were sort of hitting their stride. But again, to draw back to that, you know, just stepping a, a little too deep and getting a bit ahead of themselves, you can't do that against Asta. Asta, they will just slam you down. Especially now with this group up, this push lineup that they've gotten with with the Evadin, trying to go for these plays. Now, whenever Asta's grouped up, it's such a strong push. Dyer's middle tower is under butterfly, attack. you said. Yeah, PQ, PQ's going to have his BKB out for the next fight. Oh, God. So there's no stopping him from getting the spells off, getting the saves off. How on earth do you make a move here if you're secret? Everybody's stepping outside of the map. Baboka's finding them, taking them down. Now, this Tiny and Enigma have just been complete thorns in the secret side. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. They couldn't stop them on the top lane. We'll see what they can do here in the mid. Black hole, not quite online yet. So one less thing they have to worry about for now. They can't stop yeah. this. Monet's for help. He's got two lives as well. Hit. Still a, nearly a couple of minutes left on the Aegis. Just tearing through these buildings with how farmed this Luna is. And look, PQ's even being careful. He's not throwing the shield every time either. He's waiting with the shield just in case some type of Batrider comes in. He's just throwing the heals for now. On to tier 4s again. And they can go for some more tier 4 damage. No glyph. I'm an Ori. He's ready to zip in deep. He's looking at the setup. He's going to be fine. Opening on to Dyer. Dyer's out of the game. Has got money for buyback, but the tier 4s are gone. The Ancients exposed Mone. Is he going to continue to try and close the game up? They'll try and approach him. Secret they've got to fight now if they want to hold on in this game any longer. The fear coming out. BKB is already there for PQ, so he can still shoot the save off onto Ori. Ori's having to zip out. Double buybacks out from Secret. They're trying to deal with Mone. He's still got a minute left on the edge. His crystal is dies within his own wood of Skalad. Buyback from Resolution. Puppy's desperately trying to finish off Mone. He'll be able to do so the once. If they can do so a second time, no buyback available on Crystalis. It's just the four of them. Aster's buying back, though. The abandoned Dyer's tiny running back. They know this is the end of the game. Higher than they could control this Luna secret. He has a satanic now, too. And Black Hole's ready. Uh oh. Puppy, stepping up. I've got to be so Dyer's careful if XXS finds the jump, it will be GG. There's the jump already over towards Resolution. Sam comes out for Dyer's. A solid Pretty one. Good one. Three bring it down. BQ low. But the shield's still there. BQ will then. Another dead. XXS dropping the black. As Monet back to the base, Nisha will be able to get the kill, but they're just looking to end him. Nisha's got to do something insane to hold this off, but he cannot do so. He's got no mana, no health left. Monet looking to close it up, secure the win here again. Now get up and the X marks. Find some safety here with the cold embrace. TP's are coming in, so maybe a chance to turn. Monet's going to look to jump in. Ready to snowball being used from Zayas to get out of there. Bushwhack out of the two of them. A bit of protection here, of course, with the buff, the buff of the rum. But Brezo's left off to the side. Or he's going to try and take down Puppy over towards the river. Jumps in, should be able to finish him off. The back up top, the chase continues. On to Zayas, Asta, they'll get the three of them there. They get Ori. Or Ori gets Puck, Puppy in the middle. They did try and back off. The rum gives them a bit of safety. And as attack. it was, Asta getting some kills out of this. Secret, they'll be straight back up to the top lane. But Piku's got the heal again. Come round, there's no boat. 20 right, seconds until the ult's back for online for Nisha. So the tower here, looking towards XXS. This time round, the puck won't have the TPs up to back him up. So, so XXS will fall secret, they'll get the core kill. They knew that everything's so cool, though. They can go for this relentless aggression up top because the coil was used in mid lane. Top, you know, the Mars ult is ready being expended, so. They really want to try to push this tower down with the Enigma because those were on cooldown. Dyer's top tower is under attack. And levels? Still not quite six on the two supports of Aster. Nisha? Try to push up the more with the bow up. They'll try and disrupt the combo with the ultimate, but it's not going to stop Nisha from being able to drag him back into the crash of the bow. 
claim enough, but the pressure onto the tier one tower as well there from Resolution. Q trying to slow down the push a bit, but the Eidolons are out, and this tier one will certainly fall. They're, they're bringing MSXS, they're actually oh, yeah, they're bringing the squad. Try, okay, they're going to try and make a fight out this Aster. Up me, very, very low here. Don't die. Rendo too. They'll lose the tower, but maybe Aster can make secret pay for this. Rendo is going to go with the black hole, but nope. a quick contribute for the side. will put it immediately to an end. Oh, he's got the Dream Coil out onto the turn and catch it. But Zion and Nisha, Arena's up. Spear Corpo as well. Nisha tries to get his last to damage out the Tyring, but he's trapped in the ultimate. He's taken out. Zion's will be able to bring Ori out with him. And there is backup in the form of Chrysalis heading over. So Secret, they're going to still maybe try to do some more here. Now Chrysalis, he's had enough. He doesn't want to get involved. He can catch anyone here. Puppy, with the lead in. They put the X-Mark set up onto Monet. The stun. And he's going to stop the Torrent combo from connecting. No kids there, though. Still heavy damage being done to Monet. Malif is causing issues. He'll be able to jump to the side, but Puppy ready to cause issues for him once again. Frost <laughs> fights Monet, takes him down. The Crystal Maiden certainly proving to be Monet's kryptonite here in the early game. Absolutely, and it's, a lot of it really is because of Puppy's skill build, too. Just wanted to point it out quickly. And of course, after Monet has been taken down, they could just chase him for more. Secret getting three kills there back to back. And look, he's got, he's getting greedy too on Puppy, right? Queuing up the BKB, he knows he's having a pretty good game. And yeah, I just wanted to highlight the skill build, right? Max Frostbite, the cooldown is so low, you're able to get like these multiple continuous usages. That's why I ended up getting him bottom as well too with the tower. He had that secondary cancel. Absolutely, so That's the answer to, to these heroes of the line of ability. XXS, what? Well, he's in for action. He's in drop in with the arena. No, he'll catch he's Puppy. Also, Zion's been trapped in here as well. Secret. One, no. The two of them, the two supports, maybe getting a bit excited there, hanging around the triangle of Asta. That, that was never going to last for long. Oh, and they were farming ancients together <laughs> on the opposite side of the map. I mean, Puppy's like, dude, I've nearly got my BKB, bro. Let me hit some ancients. <laughs> That's what it looked like. Asta capitalizes again. XXS, so clutch this game. 6 1 and 4. Radiant's Always there at the right time. Respect to Smart. I mean, connect it says get the jump. He's still capped. Leaks back up, but the immediate silence is there. We have the BKB to show that he can still land the combo. This was a dangerous spot last time round for the secret when they made this move. We'll see if that's to get away with being in this position. They'll take down the shirt first used to hold back Crystalis. Just tries to come in with a wrap round from the side. Snowball over towards Baboka. Puppy ready to let it go over the ultimate, but a Stop by the Yules of Ori. The full focus for Crystalis over towards XXS. Cold Embrace from PQ by XXS. A bit of time, but he's been surrounded. Resolution decides to not mess around. Drops the black hole, secures the kill. They're ready to try and chase for more. They look over towards Monet, punch up into the sky. Is there anything the support can do to help out? Monet pops the blast, turns the dagger slow, push back. One desires, but Boca stop the control to hold back the tusk to take him out. Monet able to TP back to safety, but Boca, he'll give his life to save his carry. A super deep chase from Aster behind the tower. They get three kills, but Chrysalis, he's, I think he's fine with this. He shows up with his meta, gets nice cleanup kills on the two heroes. Radiant's he's pretty happy. Tower is under Top attack. of the net worth. Monet not able to find many cleanup kills himself at all. Radiant's Complete. top tower is under attack. Yep, yeah, gonna help a lot versus that PA. A true strike, of course. Yes, X we'll see how much damage can do the first time round, but he'll get jumped. Oh, the push right there into the sharpshooter. He is so dead. So he's dead. He's just gone. We'll see Puppy pop the BKB drop the ult, but XXS, he's already popped his own BKB. He can simply walk away from the ultimate. It was always going to be a dangerous spot there for Secret to try and hold back Asta. They go for it, but a great position there from Baboka, ready for Secret to make some sort of poke from the tree line. Radiant top tower. He just gets caught out. Gotta be careful around those tree lines versus Hoodwink. And XXS just continues to be, like we said, just so on point as this Mars. I mean, we see as well, so the, the, the foresight from Baboki. He sees Nisha stepping out with the X mark. He knows where he's gonna be likely, likely be dragged back to. He knew where he'd be setting up from. Big plays there from Baboka. And the, the shard coming into play too, right? The snowball blink was gonna kill much damage that's coming out from TB, either with Bulwark or just getting these double ult placements to just block, block, block any of these projectiles. But the secret of to find any sort of opening. <laughs> They've got everything sorted, Zion's everything planned top here, Asta. And they just keep getting these grand puppy shows in his face for a second. Then he's gone. Oh. Creeps coming in on the mid, so they'll, they'll keep this pressure in onto to the base. Nice. 26 to 12, 13k Radiant lead. Middle a little slower attack. than game one, but still, Radiant at this point, very difficult to see how Secret can put a stop to this. How they can put a stop to Monet as well, too, now that he's online. He's going to be getting his next item soon, too. And it cracks. Almost certainly down. We'll see Secret. Radiant's going to start to defend. Science throws his body in. 
Set, jumps out of the fight, they'll back off from this. They got the melee racks, that's what they wanted. Chrysalis used BKB as well. With that in mind, maybe has to look to jump back in on this. Oh, it actually catches Brezzo. He might have been able to at least stop a TP, but now so. he was going for the Malefice. They all get out, everybody does. Wow. Wow. Step back to the safety of their half of the map. Secret, they'll lose the racks. Immediately collapsing on them. Well, it was all three, right? It was three BKBs, not Brezzo. Let's jump more. Gonna start the next attack with the BKB dies. He's gonna tick out. No buyback for the touch. Smone, he's ready to dive in. In he goes straight over towards Puppy. Puppy taken out. As XXS still holding on the refresher. The threat of that second arena of BKB, it's there. Secret know it. They're keeping themselves well away from this. They can't Radiant's stop Asta. Awesome Chrysalis' meta is gone, and I don't think he's even hit a single hero with it. So their, their fight's just non-existent at this point. They'll easily take this second set of barracks here. Away from Secret. Another massive influx of gold. Radiant's bottom barracks. Radiant's bottom has fallen. Nisha just can't set up on this pub. No. Every single time, Ori has all the ways to deal with that X mark. Opening. Radiant's middle barracks. Second set, and, and they'll look for more. Still with the Aegis and a full Satanic now. Radiant's on its way out for Monet. Under attack. So Refresher also on XXS. Ult back up in 10 seconds. Secret. It's their last chance to go for something. Let's eyes on Rezo. Can he find an opportunity? He has to get something insane. He doesn't even have BKB, so it's pretty impossible. Radiant's top tower has fallen. Already trying to approach from the side.